This is reading lesson number 78. This video is for you if you struggle with reading. I'm April McMurtry, a professional reading specialist, dyslexia specialist, and the developer of the Learn Reading Program, and I'm going to teach you to read through 100 videos. It's important that you start with lesson one, and that video is linked for you in the description below. Lessons one through 10 are taken from my Begin Reading Packet, and those worksheets are linked next to the number one in the description. Lessons 11 through 90 are taken from my Learn Reading Program, which is linked next to the number two. And lessons 91 through 100 are taken from my adult reading class, which is linked next to the number three in the description. You're welcome to join me at any time in my live adult reading class. There I can help you more personally. If you would like an online tutor, I can recommend several, and those are in the description also. Okay, let's get started. This is where we left off. Last time we were talking about the OY grapheme, which says OY. And these last four words were your extra practice. So I wanted to read those for you now to make sure that you read them correctly. This is joyful, paper boy, employee, and destroyed. That brings us to lesson 78. Your sight word is ocean. Here is your sight word page to practice reading your irregularly spelled words. Now our new graphing that we're learning today is, is the silent letter pair WR. WR is considered a silent letter pair because you don't hear the W, you only hear the R. So WR says R. So that's the sound that I want you to say when you read all of these graphemes on this page. All of these are the graphemes you've already learned in previous lessons. On your phonemic awareness page here, I want you to separate each sound in these words, in these pictures, and then identify which one has the rrr sound. So as in rap, the sounds are rrr, ah, p, and then this is where you hear the rrr sound. That brings us to our new words for today. I'll do this first one with you. We know that this WR is a silent letter pair. You only hear the W. We know that this E, I mean, you only hear the R. You don't hear the W. We know that this E says E eh because the next two letters are consonants. And this is also, a, a, I guess it could be considered a silent letter pair, but we just commonly call it a digraph because it's two letters that make one sound. The sound is the hard K sound. So these sounds are R, E, eh, Pushing those sounds together, it's wreck, wreck, like you would wreck a vehicle. All right, I'll be quiet while you work on this one on your own. So here the we have that WR that says er. This E A is a grapheme that says E. You'll know that because of the tap two rule. When you come into a vowel, tap the next two letters. If either one of them is another vowel, like right here, then the vowel that you are on is going to say its name E. And then this TH is a, is a voiceless <laughs> only air. So the sounds are R, E, <laughs> pushing those sounds together, you have wreath, wreath. Beautiful, let's try this one. So here we have that er sound. This I says I because the next two letters are consonants. So your sounds are er, i, s, t, wrist, wrist. Lovely. Let's try this one. So in this word, we know that this WR says her. We know this I says it. It's short sound because the next two letters are consonants. There's not another vowel in the next one or two spots. Same with this E. It's going to make its short sound E eh, because there's not another vowel in the next one or two spots. These T's make one sound. You only put one dot under them because they make one sound. We're dotting the sounds, not the letters. <clears throat> so these sounds are her, I, Written, 
written. Like, have you written a thank you note? So these last four words are for your extra practice. I'll come back next time and tell you what those were. Here are some vocabulary words for you to continue practicing at home. They all have that WR silent letter pair at the beginning. Here are some word cards for you to print out and work on your fluency. Here's some sentences to practice reading the words in context. And same with your story here, the wreath making champ. All right, my friends, I'm proud of you. You're doing amazing. I'll see you in the next video.